the weekend. It's time to take on some fun projects. I recently got me one of these Harbor Freight quick hitches. I don't know if you can see that in the image or not here. As, as you've heard me discuss, you've heard other people discuss, the King Cutter XV is not quick hitch compatible. And uh, there's a couple reasons for that. The first reason is the width here. You can see that the width between these arms is 20 inches. Okay, and even if you include the little uh, nut there that goes over the top, that's 21. Well, the width on the quick edge, you may not be able to see it all the way down here, but it's 27 and a quarter. First, I'll show you these bushings before uh, I get into how the pins are made. These are the bushings that, that you always have to use for a quick hitch. There's one quick hitch for category one that doesn't need these bushings, and that is uh, the Land Pride QH05. I was really tempted to get that one. I thought it would be nice and compact and uh, wouldn't require. These bushings are not cheap. I think I bought them online um, for $15 a set. And the set of bushings comes with uh, roll pins here as well as two of these. I mean, they're, you know, pretty hefty steel. So the way these bushings work is they go on the end of your pins. Then you put these roll pins in the same holes that you typically would put your, your uh, spring keys. Snap keys. So typically where you put that, you put the roll pins in. There they are right there. And so that in itself extends the uh, lift pins significantly, but still not enough. So what I did was I bought a new set of lift pins. The lift pin that I have, the end of it is about right there. Its overall length is six and a quarter. Its usable length is about four and a quarter or four and a half. Okay. So I bought the longer pins, then I put this uh, bushing on here. This is a cap one to cap two bushing, okay? And, and that then holds this bushing out, okay? This wasn't really necessary. I actually had these on here when I was running it without a quick hitch. So, but anyway, with the longer pins and with these, I'm able to get the lift, the lift arms working. So Christy's outside mowing with Johnny right now, so I think I'll, uh, I think I'll just lift my quick hitch up here and show you the other problem. Quick hitch not even too hard to attach by hand, is it? Okay, so the second problem is a little more severe. That challenge is I can't get this pin in because this is too thick. Okay? I'll show you that at a different angle. You can see you can see that that just doesn't line up, right? This piece is just entirely too thick to allow that to connect in there. So I thought about this for a while and I thought, well, I could take a grinder to this piece right here. And who knows, maybe that would have been, that would have been a lot of grinding. Looks to me like I would have had to have taken a half inch off of it. Now with these Category 1 implements, I, I don't think there would have been a strength issue. I, that thing is plenty big. But uh, I came up with this other idea instead. I looked how this was made, and it's a regular 5 8 bolt. And it's got a bushing on it. So I thought, maybe I could just take this bushing off. So that's what I'm going to do here. No. I don't like to mess up the threads too much, so we'll just take the slow approach. And... Okay, bolt removed. Naturally, I don't have a real hammer, but hey, I have an orange hammer that matches the uh, tiller here, so maybe I'll try that. Won't hardly fit. I think my uh, ball peen hammer is on the Johnny. See how thick the bushing was? I think that's my half inch, right? That's my magical half inch right there. So here's my thought process. I noticed that when, when I take this out, these just tend to go back together. And, and if I just put this bolt right back in here and try to tighten it up, it's not going to tighten up very well. So I went to Tractor Supply, and I bought one of these. Uh, this is a 5 8 bolt. I bought one of these uh, top link bushings, uh, which is 5 8 inside, 3 quarter outside. So it's a lot thinner around here, but it's still going to accomplish the same goal of separating that right there. 
Just going to put that loose again right there. Okay, now I'll put the nut back on. I'll show you the straight down view here. And, and uh, I don't know if you've noticed or not. Oh, yeah, I've got one hand busy here, but I don't know. So I can't hardly stop the... Can I stop that? There we go. So this bushing is not quite as wide as the old bushing was. Okay? So I am pinching it together somewhat. But at least I'll be able to tighten it. I may have to get a deep well socket. Trusty deep well socket. Here's the old bushing. Okay. But I don't think that's going to matter. At least it's held apart, and yet there's a bushing in there to keep it from, from going. Now, if I lift this up. Give and that'll be enough to shake. So it's entirely possible I might be able to get a category one to category two bushing to put on this. My quick hitch is mounted to my King Cutter XB tiller. What do you think? Any advice? I think this will work great for the King Cutter XB tiller. But I would be a little concerned about using it for a box blade or something like that. And that's because of the extra leverage that this is going to put on this pin. It could put some twist on here if you were pulling something hard, like a, a pull-type blade uh, or a rear blade or, or just any sort of three-point device that requires a, a lot of draft. And uh, but I think it'll be fine on this. In fact, I've had it out a few times already uh, with the quick hitch on it, and I've always used these longer pins. I just don't think there's going to be any problem. Now remember, this is one of the stated disadvantages of the King Cutter XB Tiller, is that it's not quick hitch compatible. Um, so there's two ways of looking at that. One is you could say, well, just get the King Cutter 2, which is quick hitch compatible. And uh, I think that's a good option. It's a good option for a lot of people. Um, the, the one thing that kept me from getting the King Cutter 2 over the King Cutter XB was that the King Cutter 2 four foot model is offset a little bit. It's actually offset. I don't know if it's left or right. Uh, I don't remember. But it's offset such that it can cover the wheel tracks of a tractor that's a little wider than four feet. Since the 1025R is like 47 inches, the track is like 47 inches wide to the outside of each tire. This is perfect, okay? And so I needed it centered, or I wanted it centered. I didn't want it offset because I wanted to be able to cover both wheel tracks. So that's why I chose it. Um, I actually thought that it would perhaps have these lift pins a little bit lower than what the King Cutter 2 does, so it would lift higher, but I don't believe it does. I think it's, it's made the same way in that regard, and I do wish it would lift a little bit higher. Okay, so that's how to put the quick hitch on the King Cutter XP. Let me know if you have any questions.